Hello and welcome to the 38th installment of my grading of all of the base game cards. If you want insight into the grading system, check out the description or click on the link in the top right hand corner to get to the first video, where I explain it all. But let's get started. Let's kick off today's video with a card I changed my opinion about quite a bit. Hardy grades. If played in Gen 1 or 2, it almost always grants 2 VP, which is acceptable. Of course, as a pure point card, it normally isn't something you love to play early on, as the opportunity cost of seeing, buying and playing this card can prevent you from seeing, buying and playing more impactful cards, or just cards that are better suited for the early game, like development, continuous card draw and so on. However, Tardigrades offer some unique upsides in addition to scoring. First of all, a free stall action. This can be super useful when fighting over global bonus bumps, conversions or milestones. Secondly, it's great for ecologists and especially eccentric. And lastly, it grants various other small bonuses. It's an outlet for imported nitrogen, it can collect microbes from ECF or Viron until you get something stronger down like decomposers, GHG producing bacteria or any other action card for Viron. It's also a microbe tech for worms or advanced ecosystems and more. All in all, I think it's quite a low priority card in the draft and if its cost prevents you from playing something more important, then forget about it. But if you have to spare cash, you won't regret picking this up. For me, it's a D tier card. Next up, we have Tech Demo. If you think about it, this card and Research are quite similar at first glance. I mean, they both hold at least one science tech and draw you two cards. But then you notice that their use cases are actually totally different. Research is often used as an enabler to play cards like Mass Converter or AGT. Sure, its card draw is a nice bonus and it can get absolutely ridiculous if you have Mass U and or Olympus Conference down. But Research is quite pricey, so often I try to delay it as long as possible if I don't need the text right now. Tech Demo, however, is quite cheap and it can be paid for with Titanium and can trigger space discounts and event rebates. That makes it much more playable than Research early on. In exchange, its science tech only triggers when getting played and doesn't count towards scientists or requirements. Same as Research, Tech Demo is still kind of a bad deal without any combo potential. 8MC in total for two cards is just worse than buying cards in a draft where you get to see the cards first and also only play 3MC per card. But firstly, it's much better than research for that purpose. And also, sometimes you run out of cards or you're just crazy rich or have excess titanium. And the fact it triggers a million combos is truly noticeable in most games. To sum this all up, a bare tech demo is not particularly great, but the circumstances that improve it are common enough to bump this card up to B tier, in my opinion. Tectonic Stress Power is a weird card. Why don't I like it? Well, let's talk about the most basic problem first. Same as GSM, it grants 3 power prod at roughly the same rate as power plant or geothermal power grant 1 or 2 prod, respectively. Power at this expensive rate of 7MC per prod should only be used to fuel power hungry card or strong activation cards like death center or bumpers. Of course to trade in the expansions, but we're talking about base game here. It should not be used for heat prod, that's what quantum extractor and mass converter are for. But how often do you have 3 power hungry cards or want to go for a bumper? And additionally, Textress has an annoying 2 science requirement that only rewards you by making the card more expensive than GSM? LOL. And granting 1 VP. Not particularly amazing. For me, tech stress falls into the same category as fusion power. Underwhelming with an annoying requirement. Of course, it's a good card when playing with colonies, but this is again a base game card ranking, so it will land in D tier. But next up we have a banger. Terraforming Ganymede is the best Jovian multiplier hands down. Why? Well, let's break it down. Firstly, it costs 33 plus 3 MC. Because it holds 2 VP in a Jovian tech itself, it will grant 3 points if you play it without any Jovian tags down. That's 12 MC per VP. Obviously, not worth it. Dust Seals costs 5 MC in total for 1 VP, and it isn't considered a great card. But one reason for this is the fact that you have to play it early. 
In the late game, when your economy is at its best, you are happy to play cards that grant VP at that rate. With just 4 Jovians down before playing TG, you reach a rate of 5.1 MC per VP. With 5 Jovians down, you get 1 VP for 4.5 MC already. And it only gets better from there. Now, factor in the fact that you can pay for it with Titanium, it can be discounted by Space Discount, it counts Wild Tax and can be used to swing Terraformer or Benefactor, and you will see that it is a stronger late game play than Ganymede Colony and especially Wife, in my opinion. And IO Mining has a whole different use case. So, TG, in my opinion, is so scary that you have to cut it most of the time you see it, except maybe if your opponent is going for a Mega Rush with Ecoline or something like that. TG, in my opinion, is an S tier card in the base game. And lastly, we're going to talk about another quintessential development card Titanium Mine. Same as Mine, it grants development at a cheaper rate than its MC counterpart. Mine is 2MC cheaper than Sponsors, which also grants 2MC worth of prod, and Titanium Mine is 3MC cheaper than Acquired Company, which also grants 3MC worth of prod. This means that both Mine and Titanium Mine pay back one gen earlier, but this of course comes at the price of some flexibility. Minerals are less flexible, as they can only be used to pay for playing building and space tax, and therefore you risk a part of your economy going to waste if you run out of playable cards. But you all know this. These are the absolute basics of terraforming Mars, and I don't want to talk any longer about Titanium Mine than I absolutely have to. Let's put it where it belongs, in C tier. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments whether you agree with my ratings or if not, how you would have rated these cards differently. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And lastly, please check out my Twitch and my Twitter. See you in the next video.